So as well as paying tax on your income, income tax, you also need to pay a Medicare levy if you earn over a certain amount of money. That's because, I don't know, something happened, the government didn't have enough money quite to pay for Medicare. It's an expensive program. And so they needed to ask for more money from taxpayers. And I guess rather than just increasing the tax rate, they said, let's make a Medicare levy. And then people go, oh, it's for a good reason. So let's do that. Anyway, with the Medicare levy, you can see that there's a Medicare levy table that we use. And it's a little bit strange because it's a little bit like the income tax table, but it's also a bit not like the income tax table. There is a tax-free bracket from $1 to 20896 where you don't pay the Medicare levy at all. There's a bracket between 20897 and 26120 where you pay $0.10 cents of each dollar above $20,896. So if you earned $100 more than $20,896, you would pay 10% of that, which is $10. If you earn more than 26,121 though, you end up paying 2% of your entire taxable income. So everything, uh, it works out to be fair, uh, depending on where you end up, but it's just, uh, yeah, it's just a little bit different to the way that the income tax table works. Now, as a way of, of encouraging people to buy private health insurance, there is also a surcharge for high income earners. So if they don't have private health insurance, but they do earn more than $90,000, they have to pay an additional percentage. So this is on top of the levy. So if you earn more than 90,000 and less than 105,001, you'll pay an extra 1%. Between 105,001 and 140,000, you pay an extra 1.25%. And more than 140,000, you will end up paying 1.5% surcharge. So let's have a look at an example. I've got two examples here actually. Calculate the Medicare level payable for Cindy, who has a taxable income of $35,000, and for Chuck, who has a taxable income of $130,000 with no private hospital cover. So we've got Cindy paying the basic 2% levy. That's because she earns more than 26,121. She doesn't earn more than 90,000 though. So she's not going to be paying any surcharge. So we just need to work out 2% of $35,000. 2% of $35,000 is calculated by changing that percentage into a decimal and then multiplying. Whatever you see of, it means multiply. And the answer is $700. So she would pay that as well as the tax that she's paying on her money. Now for Chuck, he pays the 2% level levy because he earns more than 26,121. But because he's earning 130,000, that puts him into the levy surcharge table between 105 and 140. So he's not, going, not got any hospital cover, he has to pay this as well. So he's got the 2% levy plus the 1.25% the surcharge. And we can do that little calculation and we get 3.25%. That means the total Medicare levy that he is going to be paying is 3.25% of 130,000, his earnings. That comes out to 0 0.0325 times 130,000, which is 4,225. Now, if he did have private hospital cover, he wouldn't need to pay the surcharge and he would only pay 2% of 130,000. So that's to encourage him, you know, that, that different amount of money, that money he would save, he could put into getting his insurance. Anyway, that's the Medicare levy and the Medicare levy surcharge.